Bar for Bar album reviews. D. Bledsoe, Stargazer Gospel. Stargazer Gospel is the latest album from Richmond rapper D. Bledsoe and is his second album released in the past six months following Project Enrichment, which dropped December 11th, 2020. Project Enrichment was one of my favorite albums of last year, and the only reason it didn't make my top 10 is because it came out later on in the year, and I didn't get enough time to really sit with it before I dropped my list. With that said, though, my expectations were pretty high following that project, and I'm happy to say that this one definitely met those expectations. This album starts off with Damier de Min, which brings in a futuristic, almost spacey feeling, which is appropriate given the title of the album. The track touches on a lot of the things that are important to him, like family and creating a space for him and people like him to exist. There's plenty of places and times where people of color are, as he says, locked out and think that they'll never be able to get in. But that doesn't stop DB, and he makes a door to let himself in. As an intro, it's really solid and does a good job of really drawing the listener in, I feel. Next, we get Million featuring World Went Crazy. The chorus itself does a good job of explaining the track by saying, what's it going to take to make me a million? This is a nice inclusion because it's less of a I'm going to grind and do it alone sort of feel, and more of a what can we all do to get there. You could also look at the million that they're trying to get or make as a metaphorical million because it's not always necessarily about the money, but it could also just be about acknowledging all the little steps that you've taken on your way to the million. This takes us to Green Molly featuring Champ Green, Mo Green, and E Molly. Based on the features alone, I think we can tell where the title of this track came from, but it's really dope. There's no chorus here, just straight rapping with four verses, which starts off with Champ Green shouting out both Mo and Passwords, which also includes a snippet from one of Pass's battles. That snippet flows really well into Mo Green's verse, where he talks about seeking longevity and the fact that it's not easy out there for independent artists. I mean, sometimes the streets just be calling your name. I also like the line in DB's verse where he said, Free all my dogs that got caged like Petco, howling at the moon, sending signals to the wolves mostly because of the kind of grand national reference with the wolves although like db said in our conversation a bit ago it might just be random <laughs> we get another feature from mo on the next track grand landing which starts off with mo saying grab your auntie because this is a gone man rap this track is dope especially due to the flows that both db and mo come in with it's just smooth but it's also a fairly shorter track i also really did like the bit about mo wanting to be an astronaut with the snippet saying your mother ain't no astronaut, your father ain't no astronaut, ain't astronauts got nothing to do with nothing. I, at just about the halfway point, we get Heaven's Happy Birthday featuring Big Hungry, Jizzle McFly, and Ian Kelly. To me, this track is about finding heaven in whatever we do and to appreciate all the things in life. It could also be that all of our accomplishments and the things that we gain from those accomplishments are like slices of heaven that we're working towards. I also liked that in the instrumental, we get this sort of gospel slash choir singing coming through every so often really just to further build on that heaven reference full moon over broadway is the first solo track from db since the intro and its main focus to me is to keep pushing toward your goals and maintain positivity all while acknowledging the negativity the chorus says it best it's so dark keep chasing the light full moon over broadway on a sunday night shadows and silhouettes won't define the form had a feeling it was coming, called a quiet storm. Here, it sounds like De Blesso is saying he kept chasing the light and knew that there was a quiet storm approaching. Generally, when you think of storms, they're in a negative connotation, but here it sounds more hopeful and almost as if he himself or the waves that he's going to be making is the quiet storm. He says all this more so in a manner to let the listener know that the light is there and to push them to keep pursuing the light. The production as well stays very solid and this track almost reminds me of Merz's Hip Hop and Love track from Love and Rockets Volume 1 just sped down a little bit. On Stargazer Gospel Reprise we have DB rapping straight through the entirety of the track. This track carries on some of the same sentiments that we've gotten from the previous tracks with its mentions of going through hard times of bouncing back to get checks. My favorite line from this track is, I know I'm in my bag, I don't need a chart. Entirely because it touches on something that a lot of artists, I feel, can forget. Everyone wants to chase the bag, but to do so, sometimes you have to chart. Unfortunately, when you chase that part, 
you can lose a part of yourself in the process. So by him saying that he knows he's in his bag and he doesn't need to chart, to me that's saying that he's doing music for the art of it and to put out what he wants to put out. Lone Wolf on Lone Tree gives us a look at DB's past and has him reminiscing on the old days and where he came from. Back then, his ambition was rims and big tires, so he did whatever he had to do to get them. He also touches on how back then you'd find a click and just kind of stay within that circle, which honestly feels like something that most people would do in their younger days. <laughs> he also mentions that they felt young and invincible, but as time went on, he's lost some friends. It's a really dope song and definitely best to listen to for yourself to see what you take from it. Time switches things up a little bit by giving us a more vulnerable DB than what we've heard so far on the album. He starts off the track by saying, never had a hand up but really wouldn't mind one, and then delves into some of the struggles that he's going through. He's worried about bills piling up, among other things, which causes anxiety to weigh heavy on his chest. As he's laying out all these things in his mind, we get to the chorus, which is meant to be more inspirational. Almost like this too will pass sort of thing. The album begins to wrap up with Spaceship Gassed Up, which has DB talking about how he wants more than a little. <laughs> this track has him running through all the things that he wants, ranging from success for himself and the people close to him, to getting wings and things chicken. It's a dope song and fully leans into the power of manifesting. This track also goes more into the stargazing part, with more space sounds and even a mention of getting into a hit and run with a UFO. The final track on this album is Find My Rocket, which really touches on a lot of issues that black people face in society and has him asking God these questions until ultimately he gets in his rocket ship to find heaven. It's, it can be an intense listen, especially with the second verse because he has all these questions. The biggest one to me being, why do I have the fight for my right to exist? It's still insane to me that society makes it okay for people to feel like they have to fight for themselves just to, to exist, basically. Why can't we just accept everyone as equals? Like, we're all people, right? It's honestly a pretty sad ending to the album that's been mostly optimistic, but it's still very important to have these conversations. Overall, this album was really solid. The title of the album makes a lot of sense when you listen to the project, because throughout we get mentions of God, accompanied by this feeling of being in space, which is furthered by the instrumentals, including these sorts of sounds. At first, based off the title alone, you may think that you're in for an album full of preaching, but that's not really the case. What DB did here was put out a lot of optimism and positivity, but also made sure to remind people that it's not always that easy. We start off with optimism and finding light within the darkness, but then go further into the darkness itself with the last few tracks. Although the final tracks may not sound as positive or uplifting as the others, I think their inclusion makes everything more impactful. Here you have a man telling you things will be alright and we can push through the darkness, while also telling you about some of the darkness in his own life, as well as in society as a whole. Without having that insight, it may have been easy to be cynical and say, oh, he's just saying these things. However, because he chose to have those sorts of tracks included, it really reminds you that everyone's going through something and we're just trying to push through it and make things better. My favorite tracks on this album were Green Molly, Grand Landing, Full Moon Over Broadway, Time, and Find My Rocket. As always, <laughs> I look forward to see what Dee Bledso has in store for us with his next project or just other features, because it's always going to be dope. With that said, let me know what you thought of this album in the comments below. If you haven't listened to it, definitely do so. It's only 30 minutes long, so it's a quick and easy listen. But yeah, it's dope. Uh, also remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content and reviews like this. Thank you for watching, and please stay safe out there.